Find insight, guidance, and answers. answers. Tune into Spirit with radio medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee, tuning into Miss Celia's spirit. Welcome. Hi, Laura. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. How about you? I'm fine. Thank you. Celia, where are you calling from? San Pedro, California. California. My home away from home. So miss it. First impressions I'm receiving is a woman coming in who I feel is a maternal figure over on your left side because she's Spanish speaking too. So I don't know if there was like a broken English, but there was a lot of Spanish on that side of the family. Yes. She would be speaking. She'd hug you and squeeze you, maybe even kiss you. Always greet you with a smile. I think it's my grandmother. Yeah, she's with you. Oh, wow. That's good to hear. She also shows me somebody's holding on to a ring or has a ring. Is this you? No, not me, no. When I see it, it's a wedding band, and it might be also to indicate somebody since been married, since she's passed over. Is that you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I did get married after she passed. Yes, I did. So she just wants to say she saw you, okay, because I see the wedding band, and I feel like it might have been to honor or say to you that she was there for it, even okay. if you think she wasn't there. She shows me you're always busy. Is this on the phone, meetings? Are you also leading some people or is this grandchildren? Grandchildren, yes, grandchildren. (laughs) Who are keeping you busy? They're very busy. I do all the chores. I take them to their doctor appointments, their dentist appointments, their therapy appointments. I I, I do everything, yes. Oh my gosh, that's your full-time job. Yes, it is. But you wouldn't have it any other way. How fortunate are you? No, I would not. No, I would not. Right. I love my grandkids. Yes, and they're all around you, and then she just wants to affirm that. But she also tells me someone's suffering from migraines or headaches. Well, my grandson has complained of uh, migraines. His mom has migraines all the time. All right, so she wants to talk about this because I feel like somebody needs to go back into an eye doctor as well. We've got the migraines running in our family too, but I think it's something to do also with the eyesight right now. So it will help clear it a little bit better, and I feel like it might need a prescription and or glasses. Yeah, he goes yearly to the eye doctor. Well, I think he needs to go again. He refuses to wear his glasses. That's probably his problem. Oh, no. Yeah. I think he even needs a step up. He could get contacts. He tried. He can't wear them. My little one's the same way. We tried that too. Well, something's going to have to change because it's going to get worse. The headaches. And it's going to keep him out of work. One other thing. She shows me, I don't know if you're painting nails with one of the kids or you are going to get your nails done with a kid. He used to love to go. Oh, my God, he loved it. He loved when they would massage his leg. He hasn't gone for a long time, though, but he loves it. So this is the same kid we're talking about, right? Yes, the same one. The same one. She's saying that as a confirmation. His eyesight is the major cause of the migraine, but he's going to kind of grow out of them. I don't know if they're going to be as insistent as his mom's. But anyway, that's what she wanted in part, Celia. I wish there was more. Thank you for sharing your time with me. But thank you. Yes, and it was my pleasure. If you'd like to call into the show, sign up at RadioMediumLarley.com. And listen, you can tune in to Spirit with me every day by subscribing to the podcast. And please share it. And thank you. <laughs>